Hello everyone, my name's Heather and I am now a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I'm a little bit in Mercari too. Um, I don't list and sell as much over there. And I will share my Poshmark closet below um, in the description box. Today I wanted to share a haul that I received today. Um, it's a Thread Up Rescue box of 100 items, so three boxes actually. So, as you can see, these are unopened. So, sorry if you got a little dizzy there. Um, I have been reselling for the last couple of years, and I like doing unboxings like this to kind of help other people. I think that it really helps. I know it really helps me um, judge whether or not I want to purchase a rescue box or a mystery box. Whatever you want to call it, it depends on the site, depends on what the seller is calling it. But these are rescue boxes, so um, last week they were running a 15% off promotion for rescue boxes. I believe it was last week. Um, so this was a pretty fast turnaround. I just received them today. It took about a week and a half to get to me. Um, I think it was like a Friday, two Fridays ago I ordered this, so... Yeah, not too bad. I mean, I've gotten them a little faster sometimes, but this one came in a decent amount of time. So I also wanted to show you guys my really fast before I open these boxes. My beautiful flowers that my husband got me. Look at that sunflower. It's so pretty. Some roses. Oh, and you might hear a little voice in the background. My little girl saying happy birthday to me, even though it's not my birthday. Oh, it's a robot. Thanks. No. Yeah, pretty. Happy you cherry. added white. Happy birthday. It's a cake. Uh-huh. It's cake. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, without further ado, let's get into these boxes and see what I received. Um, I obviously am pretty excited. I just received them and I couldn't wait to open them, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. and You can see what's in here. My last... Um, I ordered one of these about a month and a half ago or so, maybe two months ago now. And I um, received some awesome stuff. I received some Madewell jeans, and I also had a Patagonia Legacy um, like quilted pullover sweatshirt. And that, I resold that for $90, so that was awesome. Um, so I paid $170 and on one item I made 90 you know, after fees I made I think 70 something. So I'm happy with that. So here's what it looks like. It's all folded, so that's nice. Okay, sorry, it's a little shaky. I'll start um, holding each item up. And this... These boxes are so nice because I have two little girls and um, it's really hard to source like on my own a lot so that this kind of helps fill my closet and my eBay store with more items so I'm not just reliant on you know finding two or three items at a time when I get 20 minutes here or there in a thrift store. Um, this really helps. So it looks like I have a Zara TRF. Um, just a nice kind of textured pullover shirt, kind of like a sweatshirt. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like it's a size small. Nothing fancy, just a basic, but Zara's a good brand. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, sometimes I do get items that are kind of like either stained and I try to get it out. And then if I can't get it out, I donate it or list it as is. If it's a decent brand and I think somebody would want to purchase it anyway, I'll just disclose it. Here's a J. Crew Factory size medium sweater. And I like this because... pizza! Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We had to get some pizza <laughs> for my little girl. Okay, so this... J. Crew sweater I was talking about is pretty nice. I think there's a little bit of flaw um, spats on the front that I'm going to try to get out. It looks like stuff I could get out, or maybe it's just some pilling. But anyway, these elbow patches are super on trend right now. 
Um, I just sold one last weekend with elbow patches. And I'm gonna check and see if it is, yep, it's 55% merino wool. The last one I sold was 100%, but I'll take that. Um, the merino wool is super soft. And the elbow patches are at, right on trend, so I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. So that's perfect. And I'm gonna keep trying to move through the rest of it. Um, American Rag, not too thrilled about American Rag. I like the color, it's a 1X, it's really soft. Just a blouse. Um, but I do have consignment shop venues. I can um, take anything that I don't want to just try to resell on my own and make, make three or four dollars. Um, 50% of what I of what they can sell it for, I can get out of it at a consignment shop. So it's okay. That's no big deal. Um, so I probably won't list the American rag because I've I've tried reselling it maybe two or three times from getting it in a box like this and it never sells and I end up taking it there anyway, so I don't think I'll waste my time listing it. it looks, I'm just looking at something. It looks like I have a reversible shirt, but it doesn't have a brand or anything on it. It's a cute little halter style. It's just like a wine color. And then um, the other side is like this floral, but it doesn't have a brand, so it's probably going to go to the consignment shop. It's okay. I wonder if it's on the inside, this lining. Nope. I'm not seeing anything. Whatever it is was 0716, so it's not an old, a super old style. Looks like it's probably cut out, so. No worries. That'll be a nice summer item for a consignment shop next summer. And I do hang on to, like, they take things that are seasonal, so I hang on to them until... It's time to take it to the consignment shop and that'll bring me a little bit of money. So, um, S, it looks like a, like a wine color purple, a little bit of a fancier dress with embellishments. It's the brand SLNY, SL Fashions New York is what it says. Size 20W, so a nice plus size item, it's pretty. I don't see anything wrong with it. I've never heard of that brand, so I don't know what the strength of that brand is on, a, on the reselling market, but I will check it out later on. Okay, next up is this pretty funky like tunic with a zipper on the side. It's a little bit faded, possibly, or it's just supposed to be that dark blue. It's Mark by Mark Jacobs, so that's good. That's a good brand. Um, extra small. I'm going to have to check into it more. It's this is like kind of textured, like a velvety texture, so maybe it's something sought after. I don't really care for it personally, but um, the market, you know, the demand for it doesn't care if I like it or not, so we'll check it out. Um, an ASOS maternity dress. It's pretty. It's like a blue um, lace overlay. I like that. I sell maternity stuff sometimes, so it's a nice brand. It's a U.S. size 16, so that's decent. Um, yeah, it's just a lacy dress. I don't see anything wrong with that, so that's fine. Um, a black, let's see what it is. Looks like a black. A Banana Republic. It's another, like, tunic sweater. Kind of a tunic length. Banana Republic, size medium, Banana Republic factory. So, Banana Republic does well. I mean, that's a good eBay item. Does really well over on eBay. Um, Madewell. Madewell, brand new with tags. Um, Madewell and As Ever. It looks like a collab of some sort. So, that's awesome. Um, size 26, new with tags. The tags don't say how much it was originally, but I can... Definitely do some research and find out. Size 26. It looks like a like a capri length long pockets. Kind of like a board, a long board short almost. <laughs> kind of some cute like uh, raw edge pockets with a button fly, button up fly. Those are cute. 
made well and as as ever glad never heard of that so maybe that's really worthwhile we'll have to check that out um it's definitely not like capri season right now but i sell things all year i'll list it and it might wait till next spring to sell and that's okay um it's another item in my closet that'll do well i'm sure uh sweet journey never heard of this band crochet shorts these are cute shorts um i don't know the strength of this brand it's an elastic waist you guys ever heard of this brand sweet journey size large it sounds like something that would um be sold at like meyer you know walmart target that type of stuff it's they're cute i'll have to check them out and obviously that's out of season so They'll either be listed or go to the consignment shop for summertime next year. Um, here's something with, it's brand new with tags, but it has a little bit of dirt. It's just a gap tank, which there's nothing wrong with it. Other than that little bit of dirt that I know I can get out. Um, it doesn't have a price, just a size small um, gap, plain basic tank. Consignment shop if I don't list it. I don't list a whole lot of gap. It doesn't sell well in the resale market. Here's another new with tags. Size small, the essential tee. It's got a little bit of dirt on it right there. It's almost like somebody stepped on them, stepped on these tops or something. So I can get that out, no problem. Um, I probably won't throw them on the reselling, but I can definitely take them to the consignment shop and yep, that's okay in a consignment shop all the time. Ooh, an athletic piece. It looks like it's got a cute little tie on the waist. Um, it looks nice. It's stretchy. It's athletic size small. Is that, I like the blue. It's like a slate blue color. And as you can see, there's like a tie right there. So that's cute. Athleta does well. Um, so I like that one. And since obviously these are $1.70 a piece, that's not bad. Here's another blue item. It's like a, it's either a dress or a tunic. I'll have to look into it more. Um, it's Tibby, which is a decent brand too. Um, a size two. I like the little keyhole back. That's cute. I like it. It's got a little slit in the front and it's really soft. It's almost like a velour, but it's not. It's like, it's like a suede soft, like silk maybe. Yeah, 100% silk. Yep. That's really nice. I bet that'll do well. Um, and of course, I'll have to look for like further flaws in some of these things because sometimes that's why they don't want to sell them on their site or they've had it listed for a long time and it didn't sell. Um, Ann Taylor Loft, size medium, just like a thermal. I sell Ann Taylor Loft all the time on eBay. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just a basic, which there's nothing wrong with that. 10 or $12 on eBay. Um, sometimes a little more. Ooh, it's a Diane Von Furstenberg dress. It's a size two. This is really pretty. I might keep this for a while. I'll have to think about it, but look at this. This is a nice sheath dress. Diane Von Furstenberg, if you don't know that brand, pick it up if you see it, if it's in good shape because it sells so well. Um, this is a beautiful black dress. It sells well, fast, and for a lot of money. So that's my favorite item so far of this haul. It looks like I have a Disney item from H&M because it's, and this is what I see, the ears. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's just a pink, um, looks like a plus size tee that says love with the little Mickey Mouse um, ears and the head, size extra large. So it's not quite a plus size, but extra large. Yep, H&M and Disney collab. Cute. I like the kind of heathered pink color. Um, I'm pretty happy so far. Some new tags items. Oh, a joie. Or joie, right? <laughs> I always feel like I'm not saying it right. But joie size. Small. It feels like it's silk. It looks nice. Looks like it needs to be washed, but... I can do that. Yep, 100% silk. It's just a basic, but Joie does, Joie does really well. It's just a sheer black top. Perfect. Love it.
that does well. Sells for a lot. Sells fast, usually. Um, a black dress. Calvin Klein. I buy these all the time in the thrift store. Calvin Klein, size 6. I just bought one this week. A striped sheath dress. This is a long sleeve sheath dress. And I see like a little bit of... I don't think it's any type of a flaw, but it's just fraying lace. So I'll have to trim that off. But I don't see anything wrong with it. It's pretty. Somebody will love that coming up for the holidays. Um, it's got like the bandage style ribbing. It's super soft. That'll do well. I'm happy for $1.70 um, with a lot of these for $1.70. Um, okay, a Mark by Mark Jacobs, orange and blue. Ooh, I don't like the, I don't like how the stripes are all crazy, but somebody might. Um, yeah, I don't really care for this. The Mark by Mark Jacobs, extra small, looks like a tunic, like could be worn as a dress or a tunic top with some leggings or some jeans or whatever. I don't really like it. It's coming across as like a bright red, but it's orange, orange and light blue. I do not like that, but somebody might. <laughs> It's a little bit faded too, it looks kind of older, so I'll check it out. Um, like a hot pink Alice and Olivia. I don't know if this is a top or a dress, I think it's a top. But it might be a dress, it's just short if it's a dress. So it's it's cute, it's just a pink like racer back tunic or um, tunic top or dress, size extra small. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's it feels like it's polyester, but I'm not sure. So I'll check that out later. We don't need to worry about that right now. Um, a blue and white stripe basic, it looks like. Green envelope, Los Angeles. I'm sure this is a cheapy brand. Um, I'll check it out. Looks like it might be a consignment shop item, which I'm fine with those. Looks like I have a pair of jeans with like the raw um, loose hem where they let the hem down. Um, it's Gap Denim, so good consignment shop item. Looks like a nice big plus size. They're cropped jeans. Yeah, size 33. So, I don't see anything wrong with them. They're just... There's not a lot of resale value in Gap. Unless it's like a nice wool coat, like a pea coat or something like that. Those will sell. Um, Land's End, that does okay on eBay for sure. A size small, 6'8", looks like a big, like a long purple maxi dress. Land's End, purple, size 6'8", six, six, small. Yep, it's just a big maxi dress. Okay, looks like I have some black jeans. I love black jeans, a good pair of black jeans. Zara Woman, the city worker. They're kind of like wide leg, like straight to wide leg, I'd say. I'd say they're wide leg. The city workers are a woman. Zara a woman does well. They have like a frayed hem. So I'll have to see if that's on purpose or if somebody cut them off. Um, that's what I'm always afraid of when I see stuff like that, that somebody um, did that after the factory. And then in that case, it can go to the consignment shop so somebody can try it on. Universal thread, so Target. Those will go to the consignment shop. Just a nice big black, um, or big black, a nice black pair of skinny jeans. Uh, 16.33. Regular. Mom, I don't see anything wrong with them. So Good consignment what? shop. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, had to help my little one out. So we're making it through our first box. Um, a nice big heavy sweatshirt, big black sweatshirt, let's see what it is, it's like it's got some quilting on it, on the sleeve, some zipper detail, it's cute, let's see what brand it is, it is, Hel oh Helmet Lang, I received a Helmet Lang item in the last box, I sold immediately as soon as I listed it, awesome. Size small. If there's anything wrong with this, I'll have to find out, but I don't see anything. It's not even faded or anything. It might look a little washed out in the light. Oh, wonderful. 
That's another item right up there with Diane von Furstenberg. It sells fast. It sells for a lot of money. Happy. I'm happy with that. Okay, a misguided pair of shorts that are new with tags. I just saw the tag first. Uh, misguided. Great hem. I'm sure they're offloading a lot of their summer stuff. Obviously, it's the end of summer and now fall, so that's okay. I'll hang on to this stuff if it doesn't sell right away. It's a uh, misguided size 14. The tag doesn't say how much it was to begin with, but that's okay. Nice pair of shorts. Somebody will like those next summer if they don't sell before then. Um, a white like crinkle, like that crepey material. Um, it's a kimono, so Forever 21, but it's a kimono, so it might do well and it looks nice. I don't see anything wrong with it yet, but I'll look later, a little closer, of course. And a lot of times, once I get the stuff under the light to take pictures, that's when I really see if there's a stain or something. Um, then I'll take it back out and clean it. It's a U.S. size small, Forever 21. It's just a big, long, white kimono. Kimonos do well. They're, they're super on trend, so. <laughs> Carlisle. I have a Carlisle um, vintage leather vest for sale in my closet I've had since almost the beginning of selling on Poshmark, so I'm not too thrilled. But maybe this will do better. I don't think this is a vintage piece. It's a size large, just like a preppy plaid sweater. Feels like it's brand new. It looks brand new. Um, it's matte wool. It's just viscose and polyester. So I don't. I have no idea how a new Carlisle item would do so we'll check it out later um, White House Black Market always does really well for me I love White House Black Market to wear I love White House Black Market to sell this is an older piece but it doesn't look like anything's wrong with it it's just a size small White House Black Market kind of basic black top clear top um, another Madewell item Madewell shrunken I haven't heard of that either, but it feels like it's a wool, size small. It's like a, um, what's the word, flannel, but a solid flannel feeling shirt or jacket. I'll have to look it up and see what they consider it. It's 100% cotton. I would call this more of a shirt. It's cute. It's like a high-low, just a basic button-up or button-down. Made well does well, so I bet that'll be a nice item. Here is a blue, another White House Black Market. I like this one a little better. I like the navy. I love navy. Navy's one of my favorite colors to wear and to sell. It does well. Size 6. This one feels super soft. A nice career top. A pullover. That's cute. It's got like that split front. That's the back. It's just a nice blouse. Great. I'm getting a lot of good brands, not a lot of junk in this. Ooh. So I sold a pink, this is a J. Crew cashmere um, zip up sweater. And I sold a pink one. It wasn't a zip up sweater. I see some staining that I can try to get out. Um, but I sold a pink cashmere sweater from J. Crew for $90 last winter. So I'm happy about this one. If I can get the staining out, I bet I can get a good, I don't know, $40, $50 for this. Because that other sweater was new and it was a newer style. It was like a funnel neck, really pretty pink um, sweater. So that one will probably do good, do well I mean. And Eddie Bauer, so I'm not too excited about Eddie Bauer, but this is a pretty top. It's soft, which is a striped, almost like athletic top. I bet it'll do well. Blue always does well, um, especially in the right brands. Eddie Bauer, size large, just a nice basic. I like the, it is really soft, so check it out. A Ralph Lauren, new with tag, blue basic polo, Ralph Lauren. So not a very high-end shirt. It says it was worth $68, brand new, so maybe I can get, you know, 20 $20 or so out of it since it's still new with tags this winter. It's, sorry, it's a little dusty. <laughs> um, maybe this winter somebody will like that as a basic to go under their sweaters and stuff or their jackets. Um, a Banana Republic embellished 
I'm always worried about these embellished taps and stuff. I can't see any missing beads right now, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. I'll have to look at it closer later. It's nice. It feels like a wool. It's like a wool um, three-quarter sleeve. I see some pilling that I know I can get off with a sweater shaver. That's just a three-quarter sleeve sweater. Um, like waist length. Oh, it doesn't have the material tag. That's probably why they sent it. Looks like somebody cut it out. So, okay, well, will it be a sold as is or consignment shop item? Since I can't tell what the material is, I don't like selling things like that. Um, a New York and Company stretch size two dress. Somebody will like this. This will do well on eBay. Um, I sell some New York and Company once in a while because I get them in these boxes. I would never buy this in a thrift store to resell. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of return, but I like the color. I think the color will do well. I like the neck. It's just a basic other than the neck, so I think the neck is cute and will sell it. Um, it's a nice soft dress and it doesn't feel like anything's wrong with it. Or look like anything's wrong with it, I mean. And then this is our last item in this box. It's a J. Crew size small, feels like cotton, little basic lace up dress. That's cute, like almost like a tennis dress. Nice summer piece. Um, I want to see if it's cotton or not. Yep, 100% cotton. So that's a nice light dress. If it doesn't sell this winter, it'll sell um, next summer, I'm sure. Okay, so let's go on to the next box. I just have to pick it up here. Give me one minute. Okay. Just have to open it up. Give me just a second. I love these. These are so fun. It's like just getting a nice surprise and you don't have to go out to the thrift store and I mean I've never found helmet laying on my own. I've found a few Diane von Furstenberg but that's a really nice dress. Okay on the top there's a J. Crew piece. It's really cute. It's like a really summery dress depending on the wearer's height or just tunic top or like a beach cover-up possibly. Size small. Feels like it might be linen so I'm gonna check just because I'm curious. It's super cute. Really? Nope 100% cotton but it's really nice. That's, that's cute. I'll have to look for steamy. Yeah. Yeah, in just a little while, we'll go outside if it's not raining, okay? Oh. <laughs> um, here's a cute, I like these, and these are super on trend with the little baubles, I think they're called. Like, what I'm talking about when I say that are these little um, beaded balls on the sweater. It's just American Eagle Outfitters, but it's a cute long sweater, size small, it's like a nice brown color. It's cute, I like it, it's like an oatmeal brown. Um, I'm just seeing if it's wool. 25% wool. So, yeah, I bet that'll sell. People like American Eagle, especially like the soft and sexy tees. If you find those, pick those up. Those do well. Soft and sexy dresses, tees. That whole line does well. Um, here's a dress. It's just kind of a basic career dress. I like that. It's the limited. Size 6. The limited doesn't do real well, so it might... I might throw it on eBay just to see. And maybe Poshmark too because it is pretty and it's soft. I like the top. This kind of style does really well like to pair under your blazer for work. Um, Lillian, I'll be right back. Okay, so the next item is a... Oh, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I have life going on around me here. Um, I'll try to book it through the rest of this. So Mango, that's a new to me brand. I just found out about them because I saw this denim dress on Pinterest that I really wanted. And this is a cute like sailor theme, I guess. I would call this like nautical theme. It's cute, I like this little sweater. 
Um, it's like a basic, but it's a size extra small, USA sizing. I like the little um, sleeve detail. That's cute. A little ruffle. I love navy, as I as I said. So it's a cute sweater. Um, I bet somebody will love it. An old navy pair of polka dot pants. Oh my! Um, I don't know how well this will do. There's a little bit of dirt on it that I need to wash. I'll be right back. Okay, crisis diverted. I'm going to be down a little bit again. Okay, so anyway, the Old Navy pants. These are Harper Mid-Rise. I don't know how well these will do being Old Navy and they're dirty, so I'm going to have to wash them, but I'll look them up. I sell Old Navy sometimes on um, eBay and polka dots are in. They're always, usually always in. People love polka dots, so... Somebody will probably love those. Apartment 9. I'm not impressed with that. Modern Essential Elbow Sleeve. That'll go straight to the consignment shop. They don't mind Apartment 9 and people like to, you know, buy that for 3 or $4 at the consignment shop. Some J. Crew Chino Black Shorts. These are nice. There's no fading. I picked these up to resell. Just a classic pair of Chino Shorts size. They're a size 4, and they're 100% cotton, so that's nice. Like I said, I think they're clearing out their summer stuff. Calo Polygram? I've never heard of this brand. It looks like a, feels kind of like a cheapy sweater, but I don't know. It's just a black and white marled size small. Oh, it's got the elbow sleeves <laughs> with hearts, or the elbow patches. A heart elbow patch? That's cute. That might be the selling factor on those. That, I mean. Um, so we'll have to check it out. Never heard of that brand. Karen Scott. This doesn't resell for a whole lot. It's a size extra large. This navy blue basic. That would probably be a good, there doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. That would be good on eBay or possibly the consignment shop, depending. Another apartment nine item. And it's a dated style. Nobody really is wearing this style. Um, or buying this style, I should say. It's like a, kind of a baby doll sweater. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just apartment nine, so we'll just move on from there. Probably going to the consignment shop, I'm sure. Um, Soho. So this is another brand. This is a pretty color. Somebody might love this. Just because of the color, it's an extra large Soho jeans. But it's just another like apartment nine like Kohl's type brand. It doesn't sell for a, resell for a whole lot. Um, Croft and Barrow. That's going to the consignment shop. I don't resell Croft and Barrow because there's just no resale market. I mean, this stuff you can buy it for six or seven dollars on sale at Meijer and places like that. So that's gonna go to the consignment shop. Here is a. Evan Pacone Woman 1X Orange Embellished Shirt. That won't sell for a whole lot, so that one's going to go to the consignment shop. I'll be right back. I thought about my little girl or something. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> she knows I'm filming, so she's trying to get my attention by getting, having me get her more things. Um, a Jessica Simpson New with Tags, size 2X. Super cute. Um, tap. I bet this will do really well next summer. It's a 2X new with tags. Let's see. It doesn't say how much it was originally. It's called the Jenna Whisper White. Just a nice tank. Nice flowy. Oh, I like the sleeves. It's like a cold shoulder. I see. Okay, that's pretty. I like the embroidery on it. That'll do well. Jessica Simpson usually is a nice bread and butter. Um, if it's new with tags, it's a nice bread and butter item. Or like the coats, if there's a wool coat, pick that up. That'll do well too for you. Um, Pronto Uomo. <laughs> I haven't heard of this before. Extra, extra, extra large. 2X. Just a big black sweater. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about that brand, so I'll have to check it out. Um, something corduroy. It's a 
pair of shorts. Size 17, Arizona jeans. That'll be a nice consignment shop. There's, there's nothing wrong with them. They're just, there's no resale value in JCPenney brands, house brands. Um, here's something that looks unbranded, although it looks like it's a vintage piece. It has a size 18 on it, and it's pretty. Um, the reason I say it looks vintage is just this, the style of this tag. Um, it's a really pretty skirt, but it's definitely unbranded. I love the color, and it's got like a little bit of metallic in it. So maybe I can look into it more later, but that might go to the consignment shop since it's unbranded. I don't like selling unbranded items. Um, Gap. Cute little pair of shorts. These are a size zero, and actually my oldest daughter is kind of um, almost into women's sizing, so I might give these to her. These are right up her alley. She loves blue and florals, so I think I'll hang on to those for her, possibly. Something florals up next. It's like a, either a skirt or a tube top. 860? I haven't heard of this brand. 860 extra small. I think it's a tube top. I'm not sure. It's either a tube top or a skirt, but it's a really short skirt if it's a skirt. Yeah, I think it is a skirt. That's that's going to the consignment shop. <laughs> Just because I would want to try that on before I purchased it. It's really small. It looks like a kid's skirt. Um, Gap Factory polka dot pants. Like a black pant. Size zero, regular. So those will probably go to consignment shop, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this some more. Or try this again. So I keep trying to move through this. We're, it looks like we're over halfway done, so that's good. Um, a navy blue top. It's Banana Republic, extra large. Kind of a over the shoulder wrap neck. That's cute. Um, size extra large, Banana Republic. It's really soft. It's like a, just a basic. Um, I used to have this tap, the same exact tap. It's an express tap. I recognize it. Um, these sell really well on eBay. I don't know about Poshmark. I've never tried it. This is extra small. This looks almost exactly like the one like the one that I had. It is the same thing and I think it's the same size. I might have had a little bit different size, but yeah, that does well. Um, I listed that and it sold within a week when I listed the one I used to own. Um, here's like, I like this color, but it's just Gap, khakis by Gap, broken and straight, regular size zero. I like the color though. I think I might try those on. Um, I'm going to set them to the side. Otherwise, they're going to go to the consignment shop. Here's, this is a cute pair of capris with the little scallop detail. I think I'll keep these for my daughter, too. They look like they're small and they're unbranded. The band's been cut out and then they're like a stretchy capri. But she loves like this, like a mint, anywhere from like a really, really light, like seafoam green to a dark blue, she loves it all, so I'm going to let her try those on. Especially since they're unbranded, I don't want to try to resell that. Here's a really cute loft dress. Look at this, this is really cute. I love the top. It's just like a cotton lined little sundress. I like it, it has adjustable straps, that'll do well. I bet somebody will love that. Okay, a pair of jeans. Oops. J. Crew stretch. These are nice. These look like they're brand new. They're a size 24, 26. So I think I'll try these on. They're like a, just a high waisted um, or maybe mid rise skinny jean. But I'm always in the market for a nice new pair of dark skinny jeans, especially at this price. Um, if they don't fit me, then I'm going to go ahead and resell those. This is the Ann Taylor Loft. And I know the new loft, um, and this looks newer, 
is just loft. It's kind of branched off from Ann Taylor. So if it just says loft, go ahead and pick it up because that means it's a newer brand. It's extra small. I like this. It's just a nice gray career cami. You look cute under a jacket. If I still had to wear things like that, I would keep that and wear it to work. Um, here's an Ann Taylor loft. It still says Ann Taylor loft. Petites. Extra small, petite little purple wine colored sweater. I like that. That's cute. Three quarter sleeves. Somebody will like that. I sell petite items. Don't be scared of petite items, especially in a good brand. If they're worth picking up. Blue and gray. So this is, um, I, I'm, sh I think that's an anthropology brand, but I'll have to look it up. But that does really well. This is a nice little summer dress. It's black and white stripes. Feels like it might be linen. Nope, it's also cotton. They got me again, but it definitely feels linen-y. It's just a cute racer back. That'll be nice next summer. And I do, um, I keep like keeping items because sometimes I can't get out for a couple weeks sourcing on my own with kids and schedules and stuff. So I like keeping a few boxes of items um, to list later. So those seasonal items are fine to like put those off and list the winter items first and list those as they come up if I can't get out I'm happy with that um, this is a really nice this feels really nice it's a Cynthia Rowley extra large fit and flare or extra small I'm sorry um, extra small navy blue fit and flare basic like career style dress that's really nice I like the color um, it just feels nice and it feels newer there's some dust on a lot of these items, but I'll get that out. I'll clean all of this. I usually wash every, everything almost. Especially in these boxes, there's always a lot of lint. Um, divided by H&M, teeny tiny black skirt. <laughs> I mean, this is short. This can't be more than 12 inches long. So that'll probably go to the consignment shop so somebody can try it on. Like It looks like a children's skirt to me. I'm a really pretty green. I like this green. Looks like it might be a pencil skirt. Yep. Um, J. Crew, too petite. I love this green. It's a fully lined career skirt. I sell a lot of these. I love the pencil skirts. They do really well. Any career wear does well because people have to dress up and they like looking nice for work. Um, but you know those. Items J. Crew is super expensive brand new, so it's nice to turn to eBay and Poshmark to look for your items. Um, I'm not too impressed with this. It's just a red, white, and blue eyes ad. Size extra small. T. That'll do well at consignment shop next summer. Somebody will probably buy it for 4th of July, maybe. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just there's no resale value in eyes ad. Made well. This is a cute top. Um, it's just like a kind of a boho style. I like the little uh, fluffy balls. They're like, I don't know, <laughs> they're soft. It's nice. It's cute. I don't see anything wrong with it. It looks like it has a little wash wear, but there's no flaws. So that'll do well. Um, something orange and yellow. <laughs> Pretty uh, crazy pattern. They're Gap khakis, skinny leg jeans, or khakis, or I mean khakis. I don't know about those. I would not wear that pattern, but somebody would probably love it. This feels like silk. It's a New York and Company size small, but look at the color. Mustard does really well. It's like a mustard yellow and white. It's pretty. It would be a nice um, career top. It's really soft, too. I think that'll do okay on eBay. Here's something that is like it looks like a tag was on it somewhere. Oh, some J. Crew gray chinos. These are nice. This is something I'd absolutely pick up for $1.70. Um, let's see. We're getting there, guys. Thanks for sticking with me if you're still here. Banana Republic black and white, kind of cropped, skinny leg pant. Sloan Fit. So I sold some Sloan Fit pants um, from the last thread up box that I received. Ugh, there's so much dust in here. 
Um, they are too petite, which that's fine. I know some people are scared of picking up petites, but I'm not scared, especially at a dollar seventy. I'll list it and they'll sell. Um, city triangles. So this is it looks like an older style kind of you know cocktail dress and these types of dresses like I don't even try to list these things on Poshmark and eBay very often unless it's a really good brand um, this one I'll definitely take to the consignment shop because there's lots of you know young girls that are going to homecoming and prom and stuff and they love you know they don't have a lot of money so they love going to the consignment shop to find those types of dresses and they do well there so that's where I'll take that um, let's see, it's like a color black. They look like they're Lululemon just from the stitching, but they look like they're inside out or they're reversible. Yep, they're Lululemon reversible um, pants, which always do really well for me. Really happy with that. Um, I don't see a size, but you guys know how that goes. It's in a pocket somewhere, or it's not on there, and that's why I received them. But they're nice. They're like an older style, but there's nothing wrong with them. Um, there's not much cracking in the little screen, you know, that the logo. So they don't feel too sticky. They do feel a little worn, so I don't know if I'll list them or not. Um, I'll have to look at them later and see if I can use the sweater shaver and kind of get some of the pilling and stuff off. Uh, Ralph Lauren. These are, these little sweaters are cute. They're just a classic kind of preppy style cable knit tank. It's fully lined. That looks really nice under like a jacket for work or like with your little chinos during the summertime. Um, Oh, Heart and Hips. This is like a Meyer brand, Meyer Walmart type item. So it's there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a red little tunic that'll go to the consignment shop. Okay, there's two more items in this box. Red and orange and, or maybe it's fuchsia, like a fuchsia pink, red, orange, and white. BP, so that's brass plum. They sell that at Nordstrom. So that'll do well. It's a size small. It's a really cute tank. I like the little tie detail at the waistline. So that'll do well next summer if it doesn't sell um, this fall and winter. I like the color. Coldwater Creek. New without tags. It's still got the little button attached but no tag. Just a flannel. So I'll sell this um, or I'll list this online because Coldwater Creek does okay. Especially if it's something like that that's new without tag okay so we're to the last box and give me just a minute so i can get it um situated to open okay i have the box all open up and this one had my packing receipt so i like keeping those for my for tax purposes at the end of the year um so it looks like there's a blue sweater in this one it's alfred dunner which I sell that on eBay sometimes, especially if it's like a cute pattern, believe it or not. It does really well, and this feels really soft, and it looks new, so I'll probably try to sell it on eBay, especially since it's a winter item. It'll go well. Um, let's see, Time and True. I think that's a Walmart brand. It's a cute top, but that's going to go to the consignment shop because it's cute. Um, it's a large 1214. Right back. Okay, it looks like we have just a couple more items in here. So, a black skirt. It's like a embroidered floral pattern. And I have a couple of these for sale and they're just not doing well. They're um, loft. So, I'm not too impressed with getting this one because that means another one to try to sell. Joe... Ben Bassett? I've never heard of that brand. So we'll have to see what that is. It's a 100% cotton size 9, so junior sizing. Yeah, that'll go to the consignment shop. Junior sizing doesn't do well for me. 
um, Paper Crane. I've heard of this brand. I can't remember how well it does. It's a cute pink tank, so I'll have to check it out. It's just a little crap tank. I like that. You have a kitty? All right. Yeah. Um, looks like a pair of shorts. Nautica. Yeah. Yeah. Size four. Yeah. Nothing wrong with them. Yeah. I might try to list them next year. Or list them anytime, but they're obviously for summertime. Striped navy and white tank. Yeah. Crap tank. The cute, like, cr crisscross detail back. Racer back. Um... Forever 21, so that's a nice consignment item. You're almost done. Here's a black and white. It's like another kind of summery. It's like a summery dress. Feels like a cheaper material. City triangles. Size small. Yeah, that'll do well. At the consignment shop, it's cute. It'll be a cute little summery dress for someone. It's fully aligned. Not, not a lot of resale value and things like that, though. So C9 Champion, just a regular tank. I'll probably keep this for myself because I love to run and exercise, and I can always use, like, a basic tank like that, and there's not a lot of resale value in that. Um, Lord & Taylor. These feel like they're linen. They're a size 2. And I keep saying that. It keeps being cotton. 100% linen. I finally <laughs> actually received a linen item. So it's a wine color pair of shorts. Those will probably sell well next summer being linen. And maybe before then, but I'm just counting on summertime next year because we're just going into fall. Um, candies, bodysuit, like a mesh detail shoulder. That's a good consignment shop item. Um, Candies is like a Kohl's brand, Kohl's house brand, I think. Tahari. So some Tahari does okay, but this just feels like a regular basic shirt, so this will probably go to the consignment shop. Um, Tahari size small. It's like a dark brown coffee color, espresso color shirt. Soft. Uh, let's see. French Connection. I love this brand. French Connection is retails for a lot of money. It doesn't resell for a whole lot. Um, it's a black and gray or yeah, black and gray stripe size medium, just boat neck top. Maybe ten or fifteen dollars. BDG, Urban Outfitters, pink tea. Maybe I'll throw that in somebody's box or something. Not sure. Um, I like sometimes throwing in a freebie like top like that if they it's a size medium. Um, if they bought like a size medium outfit or bundle or something, I might throw it in there. This says Forever Hungry. It's Forever 21 and it has like something on the bottom of it. So we will wash that and take it to the consignment shop. It looks like there's two or three things left. Um, this is like a dressy career style top. It's cute with like a tie in the back. It's embellished. I'm looking for all the embellishments to be there. Looks like they are. Um, it's fully lined. I'm looking for a brand. Here it is. It is Thalia Sodi. I haven't heard of that, so I'll have to check it out. It feels like a cheaper material, size medium. So we'll see. I'll have to look into that brand. An older Lucky brand. Um, I can tell by the style and the tag. That's a little Lucky Brand tag. Size medium. That'll be a good consignment shop item. Older Lucky Brand. Sheer Shoulder. Tea. And it has like a strong perfume smell. Um, <laughs> some really wild, a really wild like skirt. Um, Old Navy size 2. Fully aligned, but might I might try that. I don't know. I'll have to look look into it. And then the last item I have is a pair of shorts, size 26, Gap 1969, sexy boyfriend shorts. 
so good consignment Please. shop stuff next time. And with that, okay, just a minute. With that, this is the end of my haul, um, and it sounds like my daughter needs me, so I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I look forward to reading your comments, and I hope this helps you make a decision on future purchases through ThreadUp. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, um, please like and subscribe because I will be doing putting out a lot more content now that I am reselling full time. I have more time to focus on this business and keep on growing it. So I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.